I have been having a lot of people ask me to show when I rebuild the windows. So I'm going to do that one today. I'm going to go into it in depth. So this one might go a little bit longer. So uh, just bear with me. I'm going to show you everything you need to get this project done. But hey, if you're getting any kind of uh, value out of any of my videos, especially this one, would you hit the like and subscribe? And if you already have, hit the bell. That way you'll know immediately when we put out a video. It helps our channel grow. And oh, leave me a comment. That gives me something to do during the day. Appreciate that. So what we need, I've already tore down our window, cleaned it up. So you didn't have to watch me clean it up, tear it down. But I've got them out. I've got everything apart. I've got all the parts. All the parts are fine. Now the things that I'm going to need are glazers tape. Glazer is just kind of a fancy name uh, for a person that works with glass. Kind of like a uh, cooper works on barrels or uh, a cobbler works on shoes. Glazer's tape. It's two-sided tape. And uh, be very careful with it because it is very, very sticky. Glazer's tape. This is a roll of about 50 feet right here. We're going to need rubber weather stripping. Rubber weather stripping right there is where the adhesive is. Also, this is our gasket. This is what's going to keep the water out. It's a profile right there. It's on almost all the Scotties. Butyl tape, because we're going to install it today too. So you've got to have your butyl tape. My tools, eh, just the usual, usual culprits, you know, just that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing I need to do is I need to put my glazer's tape all the way around here and set my glass. Right here's my glass. I saved it. It's a little rough around the edges, but that's okay because that's not the part you look at. And it's gonna seal up just fine. I'm just gonna give it a quick once over right here because really I just want the edges to be clean for the glazer's tape. All right, got that set right off the side. Now this great glazer's tape is pretty, pretty wide for this application, so I cut it in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the first one right here all the way across the top. Try to get it in there. Make sure you get it right the first time, because like I said, it's double-sided and it, uh, it sticks pretty hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off. Put my sides on. I'm gonna try to get it up against this edge really because I've got um, we have got to put our gasket in there too so we need we need to leave room for our gasket so you can kind of see I'm not going to the edge that you would look through here I'm going to these edges not on the top because there's plenty of room on the top but definitely on the sides definitely on the sides leaving room for the gasket. And really, this tape is not for the waterproofing. Although it does help, it is not for the waterproofing. The gasket is for the waterproofing. This is just to hold that glass in. It's kind of like a second stop, really, because we do have uh, some metal pieces that I'll show you here in a minute that also hold the glass in. Whew. Glazer's tape is in. 
I've got the siding pulled off of it, that blue part. Now, I'm going to carefully put our glass in. I'm gonna start at the bottom to try to get it square. Drop it in. I just, you know, I'm not gonna push real hard. I just wanna make sure that all the sides have some tape on it. And it looks like we're real good right there. So, glass is taped in. And again, that's just holding it in there. That's the first line of defense. So I'm just going to carefully press it in there. I'm not going to be wild on it because it doesn't, you know, it just has to be on there. And it is. And you can see it when you push it on. It'll turn a little bit darker color. Okay. Got the glass. Now, this is what's really going to hold it in. If you're wondering what's wrong with my pinky, I had surgery on it. I broke it. Not out on campers, but hey, that's what's wrong. All right. Let's see. I labeled these, or so I thought. Yes. Here's the top piece. I wrote top right there. Otherwise, you'll be able to figure it out. But uh, anyway, this has a lip on it right here. You see that lip? That's going to sit right here. So we set that on here. And we have got to line up all of these holes in here. So I've got, I saved all of my screws. So they got these real small screws and kind of fake bolts, but, or nuts, I mean. But that's all right. We're going to make it work. These will go in through here on this side. Nut goes in on that side. Then we just kind of screw it down, just like this. And we'll make sure that we've got it all lined up because there's a certain order that this has to go in. So I'm going to continue doing this. We'll probably fast forward through it, but you'll see what I'm doing here. And there we go. We've got the parts and pieces right there. That window is in there nice and solid. So what we'll do at this point is we're going to take our gasket. And the way this gasket works is this piece goes in between the glass and the window, the window frame. And then this part is what sheds the rain. So we're going to start right up here. Well, we'll start at the bottom. No, we'll start at the top is what we'll do. We'll go right there. We're just going to push that in there until we make it all the way around. And again, we'll go probably double speed here, but you can still see what I'm doing. Take a look at that. Woo! That looks nearly brand new. A lot of good shining up and some new parts and pieces. That's pretty nice. That is nice. I dig it. I dig it. Okay, next step. Here's the runner for the window crank. So we got to get that one in. And there's a, there's a little spot in here that you can set the piece in and then it comes under this lip right here. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom. I don't think it really matters, but uh, when I've done it, I put it at the bottom and it seems to work out pretty good. And there's just a couple of screws that go into this and uh, I'll do that real quick. Got the runner in there, the guide, if you will. All right. Now, huh. 
I'm in the wrong holes up here. I guess I'll fix that now. The guide is in and looking good. All right, let's move on. Here's our window crank and our screen. So we're gonna put this guy whoop, right here, right here. All right, so I've gotta get the guide out of here. There it comes. All right, here it comes. So there's that piece that has to go in the runner. So I'm carefully, because these things are made of plastic and they do not last very long. And I'm, su whew, I'm surprised this one is still going. So I'm gonna be careful with it. All right, I've got the guide in the runner. Now, up here is where these come apart, right up here. And there's two holes, one on each end, that I've got to put a pop rivet in that allows this to work as a hinge, because you can see there's no hinge on it. So I've got to get, I've got to open this up a little bit, I think. Try to, well, get it down. There we go, there we go. Because there's a lip right here that this slides into. So I'm gonna get it in there as deep as I can. And then I'm going to put a pop rivet in it. And I can kind of see down here, there we go. So I use these little eighth inch pop rivets, my little pop rivet gun. That's all you really need. So I line up these original holes right here. I'm gonna pop that maybe, there we go, through there. Should take at least two of these. There we go. There's one. And here's one for the other side. Make sure these are lined up because like I said, this is the hinge. So we don't want anything being weird on it. Not lining up like this one isn't. So let me see where I'm going wrong. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so I say, so I say, we may have to go this route. Mm, boy. There we go. Just a couple of adjustments. Right there. That's what the hinge is. One on each end. That's your hinge. That's all it is. So, next step. Try and get this thing open pretty good. Get that out of the way. These guys out of the way. Done with him. Now. We gotta make sure that the air doesn't come in through here, so we're gonna put it on here. From the factory, they had a gasket that sat on here. I didn't like that very well, I really didn't. And it, it seemed to be, to me, that that's where the leaks got because of the, the rubber would wear out. So I'm going to put my gasket here on the window, and then we're gonna butyl tape the back. And we know butyl tape works, all right. So, let me just get these measured out real quick. Adhesive on the back. Once you get this put on, you're gonna want to close your window, kind of keep it closed for a little bit, just so that it seats that properly. I go down about right here. 
get it up against the edge as far as I can. Just kind of use my thumbs, press it down a little bit, and just do the same thing all the way around. And that's all I'm gonna do. we go that's gonna keep the wind out keep the rain out all right so let's close this back down and I'm only gonna open it up one more time and that's just so I can set some screws now we're going to remind you how I do this butyl tape we go all the way across on the top because if it's gonna rain in, it's gonna rain in there. So we wanna go all the way across the top so that there's no seam right here. If I put this sides all the way to the top, there would be a seam right here. We don't want that. We want this first point of entry for rain trying to ruin our day to be stopped here with no seams. So we go for a full size right there. And if you look, because they were using a gasket, this is gonna be way too thick. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of slice it down a little bit. And if we do that to there, that's gonna give us two sides. So let me go about right there. And I think I'm gonna use the scissors here on this one. And just try to keep it in the middle. This butyl tape is going to last longer and penetrate into the screw holes where that rubber gasket wouldn't. I mean, I get what they were doing. It was fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all. I just think this is better. And time will tell. So, I got my little half size strip there, and I'm gonna put it, make sure that I get right up against the top piece here, and then I just need to cover my screw holes that are already there. And then this piece is gonna come all the way down to the bottom because we're not gonna bring the bottom all the way across because then that would create a seam and a spot for a rain to get caught. So it's gonna be the opposite of what we do on the top. All right, we're good there. Let's get this other side on, doing the same exact thing. We wanna make sure that we cover, get up right up to the top. We cover the screw holes get all the way to the bottom better make an adjustment there on that screw hole there we go now I just need a little half piece on the bottom so I'll cut that out right here probably gonna have to make an adjustment but that's all right I've got more windows to do as you can see Guess I probably could have cut this earlier. Probably not the best part of the show. There we go. And again, right here, I'm gonna start right there and I'm just gonna cover up these screw holes. Make sure I'm covered real good there. Here's my adjustment. No seam to catch rain. There we go. We are butyl taped. Butyl taped. We gotta go install it now. Time to install the bedroom window. I always try to put the top in first there a little bit and then pop everything in. Try to see where I'm at. And uh I think we're okay. So really all we could do right now is put these top ones in because if you remember, this is covering the side. So I'm gonna pop those top ones in real quick and uh, at least get some in there as my placeholder in case I have to make any adjustments. 
I just come in here and hit one edge. And you can see that butyl tape starting to pop out. That's what we want to see. That makes us happy. Uh-oh. Hit something there I shouldn't have hit. Probably a staple. We'll work on that. That one went in real nice. We'll try to hit that on a different angle. But right now, I'm going to go in, open this up, and then we can start doing this before we get too far along. All right, we've got her opened up. We're going to just uh, see if we can't hit a couple of placeholders here. Get that butyl tape spitting out. Woo. That seems to be doing the trick. All right, I'll finish this up. All right, let's add the icing on the cake. It's gonna be the eyebrow. And that's, uh, that's gonna help keep the rain out. And it kind of looks pretty, really. I mean, I don't know, maybe I've just gotten used to them and I like them because of that. But uh, I don't know, I think it looks cool. I really like them. Getting that first one started here. We'll see how I'll make sure, because we should be able to hit the same holes. As, as the originals. Yeah, there we go. There it is, right there. All right, let me put this guy on. That, my friends, is how you rebuild a camper window. It doesn't take a whole lot. You just gotta take your time and try not to break anything. Some of this stuff is so fragile. So you take your time, clean it up, shine it up, reseal everything, and it's gonna last you another 30, 40 years. Now, I know some of you are out there saying, but Rob, you didn't tell us how to tear it apart. Through the magic of video, just watch this video backwards. Reverse order. That'll show me tearing it apart. Thanks for watching.